In this lesson, we are going to create a three-dimensional house. To do this, we will use our knowledge of making 3D shapes and adding colour and textures. The first thing we need to do to make our house is create two rectangles to make an L shape. Use the rectangle tool to create an L shape on the floor of our workspace. This will be the basic shape of our house. Select the eraser tool and delete the line where the two rectangles join so we have one solid L shape. Now use the push pull tool to raise the rectangle from the floor and create a 3D shape. When you've done that, use the Orbit tool to move around the shape so you can have a good view of the top of our L shape. Now we need to make the roof of the house. To do this, we use the Line tool and join the two corners of our house. Next, we go to the end of the house and find the midpoint of the shape. If you move the cursor along the end of the house, you can see a red dot. When it becomes green, this is the midpoint. Select the midpoint and draw another line to the midpoint of our first line. SketchUp will tell you when you found the midpoint and the cursor will become green. Draw another line from the midpoint of the opposite end of the house and find the midpoint of our intersecting line again. We need to raise this roof so it's a three-dimensional triangular shape. To do this, click on the selection tool, hold the shift key, and click on the two lines that you just drew. Be careful not to select parts of the roof. When you've selected the lines, they will appear in blue. Let go of the shift key, select the move tool, highlight one of the blue lines. When you have it, the red dot in the middle of the arrow will be visible and you can see the message which says on edge. Hold the mouse button down and lift the roof up into a triangular shape. This is the basic structure of our house. We can use the orbit tool to move around and see the house that we've made. Now we've made the basic structure of our house, make sure to deselect the line on the top of the roof by clicking on the selection tool and clicking anywhere on the screen. The blue lines will disappear. Now we have to add doors, windows and colour to our house. To do this, simply use the rectangle tool to draw doors and windows on the house. Here is the front door, here is a window, and here is another window. Draw a third window on the side of the house and we will add a garage door. OK, now we can use the push-pull tool to move the garage door inside. Use the orbit tool and check that it looks like you want it to. And now we can use the colour tool with the paint bucket to add colour to the house.
To finish the house, we need to add colour and texture to make the shape look like a real building. To do this, click on the paint bucket tool so the colour selector appears on your screen. Click on the brick to switch to the texture panel. If you look in the menu, there are lots of different types of texture. We're going to choose brick, cladding and siding as this will allow us to give us a brickwork appearance to the building. There are lots of different options that you can choose from. I can choose one type of brick and apply it by clicking the different sides of my house and seeing how it looks. If I don't like that one, I can click on a different type of brickwork, click back on the house and change the appearance. When you're happy with your selection, move around the house and apply the look to each side of the building. Use the Orbit tool to rotate the house and paint the sides as you go. Now we've covered all sides of the house with brickwork. We can now select a different type of texture and apply that to the roof. So I will use a grey tile and apply that to the rooftop in the same way I applied the brickwork texture. Finally, I want to add some windows to the house, so I need to use a glass texture. You can choose glass and mirrors from the options panel. Choose the type of glass you'd like to use and click on the windows. We can switch back to solid colours by clicking colours. Selecting a colour for the front door, we'll choose red and clicking on the door. If you'd like to add colour to the inside of the garage, you can do that in the same way that we've just learned. When you're ready, close down the colour panel and you have a finished house. You can rotate it to check out your work. If you want to add other windows and details like a back door, you can do that. Now the house is finished. You try to make one yourself.